So, you want to improve your forehand? My first piece of advice to you, get a grip. Spin it. Hey DMD family, welcome back to another Discs MD video. Bunky here, and before I start, more salty unicorn apparel, yeah boy. Repping the Lone Star. All the links are down in the description below. Salty unicorn DG apparel, Lone Star discs, this side, Power DGA. D Clip is down there, Putty Confidently is down there. Go support all of those companies. They're doing great things and they're very important to me and my development, so I appreciate all of them. Just wanted to give them a shout out. All right, the video today is going to, we're gonna go back to the forehand, and uh, I don't have a good forehand. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's bad, uh, and, and I've tried to work on it here and there with varying success, and I guess I just don't stick at it long enough, and I really need to, but one element of my forehand is it stands about uh, stands out above the rest as, as 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 the worst part of my forehand and if you've been watching my channel for any length of time you probably know what I'm I'm going to say it's probably the the attribute of the forehand that most of us non forehand throwers have and it's our wobble <clears throat> and, and my wobble is epically bad like real it's almost undescribable how bad you know what it is describable hold on a second <clears throat> let me just hold on phone is not cooperating here i'm gonna i'm gonna phone a friend i'm gonna phone a friend where is he oh there he is give me a second hey mikey yeah it's bunky yeah look i'm doing a video and uh i i need you to describe to my viewers uh my the wobble in my forehand because i think you captured the essence of it better than anyone else so can you just yeah thanks yeah i'm gonna put you on and uh if you can just explain it to them that'd be great okay hold on i'm gonna take a listen to this hi guys mikey from overthrow here and let me preface this by saying i'm a very positive person but mark wanted me to restate something that i said while he was here in our office throwing the tech disc for the first time. And uh, yeah, he was throwing his forehand, just a normal day, right? Throwing his forehand and I was watching. And when I saw his wobble metric pop up, there was only one thing I could think in that moment. Mark, that's the worst wobble I've ever seen. And it, it really, truly was. It was the worst wobble I've ever seen. So I don't know what type of video Mark is making, but I hope for him that he fixes his wobble in this video. And I'm rooting him on from the sidelines. And I hope Tech Disc leads him down the path to fixing this because it was ugly, y'all. It was ugly. Peace. So there you have it the worst wobble he has ever seen and i wish i wish i could have captured on video the moment that he made the comment because it was pure genuine unbridled sincerity <laughs> it was the truth and uh it it both hurt me and made me feel really excited all at the same time because you know if you're going to be bad at something be the best at it so uh, anyway, Mikey, you're my boy forever. Love you um, and thank you uh, because that stirred in me the desire to get better at throwing a forehand. Uh, and to me, the place to start is my wobble. So I'm going to do a couple of videos here on reducing my wobble because I think if I reduce my wobble, uh, there goes my... Uh, forehand. So goes my wobble, so goes my forehand, because I think the aspects of fixing my wobble will also fix my forehand. Uh, let's see. Um, the thing we're going to start with to start to um, address the wobble issue is my grip. Okay, we're starting here. Now, I know there are other aspects that affect wobble 
uh, that I need to focus on. And we'll get to them. Trust me, we'll get to them. I have plenty to get to when it comes to my forehand. But we're going to start here. We're going to start with the grip, right? With the beginning, the basic, the basis for your forehand, the grip. Let's just cover quickly the, we all know the three basic grips, right? Let me get them, right? It's the first is the power grip, right? The second is the stacked grip and the last is the split grip, right? So uh, if you've been watching my channel, you know I use a stacked grip, right? Where I put the pad of my finger, right? It's not sideways, it's rotated forward. I put the pad of my middle finger on the rim and then stack my uh, index finger behind it. it. Sort of looks something like this. Uh, and that's the grip that I've gone with for my forehand for as long as I've thrown a forehand. When I was working with Josh and Mikey down in Lynchburg a couple of months ago, we were just messing with the tech disc. And I have mine now. Yay. Uh, and, and just messing around with grips, right? Because after I did my epic fail on my forehand with the very, that was the very first time I'd ever thrown a, a tech disc with a forehand with a tech disc. Mikey and Josh just tried to rack their brains to see, to figure out how we could fix it. And we just started trying to do a bunch of different things. But then we started getting into just messing with grips. And initially Josh was doing this to see if he could get more spin with you know certain grips but then mikey grabbed the disc and they started doing the split grip right josh started doing the split grip to see you know what what difference is uh and i can let him go in into that on, on one of his videos and want to steal his thunder about that uh, but mikey realized that when he was doing the stack grip and i feel the same thing that he felt pressure on the top of his index finger like interference from the disc you could feel it, you could feel it coming off of his index finger when he was throwing it and, and probably shouldn't feel that. So what he did was through a stacked grip where he started with the split grip, but then removed the index finger from the disc so that it didn't interfere with the disc at all and laid his index finger on top of his middle finger where the now i don't know if you could see it or not there's no part of the index finger that is touching the disc so i started doing that the only thing that i feel on the disc now is well of course this knuckle right that touches the 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 rim and the underneath the bottom side of the plate uh rim there and and the pad of my finger on the under the pad of my middle finger on the rim that is now my modified stacked grip for my forehand. And essentially what this has become is a one finger, a one finger forehand with my index finger supporting my middle finger. The biggest thing that I notice is I no longer feel the disc scraping along the top of my index finger. So I have now removed my index finger interfering with the disc as a cause of my wobble and i noticed that my wobble did drop now did it drop significantly mm, probably not um it probably went from upper teens to lower teens uh, maybe that is significant um but that the grip move in my mind solidified okay there's less interference with the disc by my hand therefore i'm removing that as a possible cause of bad wobble and I did see my wobble numbers drop. Uh, the second thing that I've done with my grip is, uh, and, and Josh uh, coached me on this, and, and maybe everybody already knows this, and I'm late to the party. Uh, when you grip, don't death grip the disc. You need a very loose grip when you are forehanding a disc. As loose as you can possibly hold the disc without dropping it is what you want in a forehand. So those two grip modifications are things that I have done in order to help my forehand. And it seems that, and I'm gonna do now, what I'm gonna do here in a second is uh, do a test with the, the tech disc. And what it seems to have done now is helped reduce wobble. 
Um, now I know everybody's going to yell out, you get more spin, you get less wobble. I get that. Uh, and, and we're going to get there, trust me. But I, I don't think spin is the only thing that hurts your wobble. I, I think your grip can. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, with my new grip, I again, I have been doing a lot of forehand practice. Uh, with my new grip, I'm going to use my tech disc, do 10 or 15 throws and come back and see where my wobble is right now with really only the grip change uh, that, that I've made. So let me get to that and we'll get back and wrap this whole thing up. Well, there you have it. Um, just over 10 wobble. Uh, and, uh, speed and spin. Uh, yes, I get it, trash. And I probably can increase wobble there. Uh, reduce wobble there. I don't know if 10, a little over 10 is good. I, I don't think it is. I think it needs to be lower than that. But it's better than 18, 19, <laughs> 20, um, so, which is what I was getting. So like I said, there are things that I can do other than grip to help reduce wobble, right? Increasing spin will certainly reduce wobble. Uh, making sure that my launch angle and my nose angle uh, are aligned will help reduce wobble. But to me, the base, the foundation is your grip. So I have to start there. And I think that the new grip, the new modified st stack grip, with, with, which is what I'm using, and the loose grip uh, during my throw is helping me get to a point where I can start focusing on those other things. And in the meantime, I do believe it helped to re reduce the wobble. At some level, that had to have been affecting my wobble that finger dragging across the disc as I was releasing. So the, the new modified stack grip that I have to me just puts me in a better mindset uh, in order to, t to attack my wobble from here on out with giving me a little bit of an improvement to my wobble. So there you have it. I hope this helped you. I hope it, it sort of piqued your interest and maybe gave you ideas about things that you can start doing with your forehand. I would encourage you to go out and just mess with grips, right? Test grips out, test the, the, the power grip, the stack grip, the split grip, and then test modifications of each of those grips. Become comfortable with your grip. It, again, it's the foundation, even the backhand, the grip is the foundation for your throw and the comfort for your throw. So you need to be comfortable with your grip or your throw is not going to be comfortable and it's not going to be the best. So hope this helped. Glad you were here. Thank you so much for your support and viewing. Give me a like, a thumbs up, all that good stuff. And until next time, enjoy the journey. Here's your verse of the day.